You know, this is, oh, ah! this is now live on YouTube. Oh my God. Is this being out in your one? It's, oh, yes, it does. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to have a few awkward moments. Oh, weird. I want to make see. sure I can see the live I chat. See. I don't even know. This is, oh, ah! <laughs> live on YouTube. Oh my God. Why it's am I hearing it? it? Oh, it, oh, yes, it does. Wait. Turn off your sound because there's a lag. Which one? Oh, wait. But then how do I hear you? Oh, my God. This is so confusing. Need, I think you need to turn your sound off on YouTube. Oh, it's, oh, yes, it does. Wait. Turn off your sound because there's a lag. Which one? Oh, my God. This is so bizarro. Okay. But then how do I hear you? Oh my God. This is so confusing. <laughs> Can you turn your sound up on YouTube? Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. This is a nightmare. I'm so confused. Because I hear you now and I hear us 15 I'm seconds so ago. Confused. Okay. <laughs> the second episode of Dr. Who. <laughs> how do okay. we how do we do it? Do I need to close YouTube? Maybe. I'm or so can you turn the volume off on YouTube? Okay. I'm gonna close YouTube. Because I hear you now and I hear us 15 seconds ago. Then how do you see, you know, like if people comment because it's live stream, how you yeah. Guys I guess I, I'm going to pull it up on my phone. Okay, I just closed YouTube on my computer. And I'm going to see if I can pull it up on my phone. And that way we can still live chat. Sorry, everyone. Can you hear me now? Because I can't hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you okay. hear me? I'm assuming everyone else can hear us correctly. But I <laughs> we had to turn the volume off. That does not work. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me, though? Yes, I can. Ha All right, so I need to see. Sorry, guys, this is our first time with this software. <laughs> it says we're still live. Yes, sadly, I can't see live chat. Crap, how can we fix that? Where's Billy when I need him? Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. All right, I'm bringing it up on my phone. Yes, all right. This is what we're gonna do. You can still hear me, Lucy, right? You're very yeah, quiet. Yeah. What do okay. we look like? You look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting in the dark. Obviously, you're amazing. Oh, look, I hope everyone can see us. Oh, I don't want them to just see me. They better see you too. That's okay if you can't see me. I think the way that I have it set up is that, oh, show active speaker. I want to show both of us. Mute audio, no. Allow record, remove. No, I don't want to do anything with your beautiful face. Gallery, oh, all right, that changed shit on mine. Oh, see, okay, I think whoever's talking is who you see. Talk for oh a second. Oh God, really? That's mm -hmm. awful. I'm no, never ever watching this video back. Oh, and Mandy is helping out. She just texted me. We can see her when she talks. You are doing great. Oh my God, Mandy Brown, you're the best. Thank you, Mandy. This live stream is like 99% of the time a shit show. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm learning. Okay. 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 So yeah, whoever's talking is the one who is face they see. Now we can see both. All right, I fixed it. I don't even know how, but good. That's better. Okay, I'm launching. Do you see your reaction when I talk? There's no point in just seeing my face. <laughs> oh, no, you can see us both now. See, I fixed it. Okay, I'm super dark, but sorry. Jumpy, if I turn this light on, it's really bad. Like, yeah, there you go. Put some sunglasses on, you'll be good to go. Awful. <laughs> okay, we have to start because I don't have a billion hours, although I sure as hell. Okay, that's I better. Did. Yeah, that's good. Okay. 
Hi, Lucy. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. Yay. Lucy and I have had like secret dreams to do, to launch like a podcast. We've been like fantasizing about it. And that's not what this actually is. But like if it ends up being that, then bonus. That would be so much fun. That would be so fun. So um, if you guys don't know, I'm going to introduce Lucy. And by the way, oh, there's a plan. <laughs> It's my fake point set up because I can't keep anything alive. So it's totally fake. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Um, so, okay, I'm going to go. So Lucy Bryden, I met, actually, the first time I ever saw you, Lucy, was on YouTube. Did you know that? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And you were like this, like, I will never forget the videos. One of your jelly plate, your jelly plates. Jelly, I'm not, if I saying that right? Yeah. Jelly plate videos. Why is that coming out wrong? Um, of my mouth. And you were like, so like peaceful and timid and quiet. And you were talking about like <laughs> your like process. And then you were talking about like how inspirational the like nature is in Scotland. And I was just like drooling because I wanted to be you with your red hair and your amazing accent and being in the best place in the world and I will I can like literally close my eyes and I can still see that video that's how I first ran across you and then I saw you popping up all over Facebook mm -hmm. and I like started following you so I was a big fan before we ever met and then and then I met we met you. in Scotland when you came on Ivy's holiday mm -hmm. And I had to kind of like a little bit attack you in that bookstore because I was so excited to meet you. I was like nervous and I don't even know if you knew what like a big fan I was, but I was, and I still am. I think you're amazing. You were a crazy person. It's okay. I was a crazy person. I was like, she's one of my people oh. already. Oh, I know. I like <laughs> the first two minutes of meeting you. Yes. Like, we're going to be friends. I yes. And like instant loved you. I'm like, whether you like it or not, like we're friends now. So let's go <laughs> hang out. <laughs> so yay. All right. And I've been missing you so much because I haven't talked to you because you've been so busy. So and if you guys don't know, Lucy is an amazing artist and she specializes. It's like, tell me, correct me if I'm wrong, but she, I think you specialize in watercolors, but you're also like a jelly plate queen goddess, but you use yeah. your jelly plates in a very unique way that I don't see many other people um, using their jelly plates. <clears throat> so it's just yeah, a more kind of like finished illustrative type print hmm. rather than just a lot of people that do jelly printing tend to make it for backgrounds for you know like um journal pages or collage papers or that kind of thing but I um kind of go like a step further and make finished pieces and I should have some audience. yeah bust them out I you can't. I'm not organized Karen I don't have any on me I'll go I'll get some in a minute Okay, you you can I was gonna say I am going to um I'm gonna grab your calendar too and I'm just looking at the chat. Just make sure that I'm not missing any questions. All right, oh, everyone I'll get the calendar. Do you want me to get the calendar? Yes, get them both. All right, I'm just looking through chat. I'm so glad we finally got this up and running. I was so excited. Um I've been wanting to I just live chat with people anyways, and I like jumped the gun and I bought a piece of software last night and I was like, boy, I just bought something that was really expensive. I sure the hell hope it works for what I want it to do, which is have a simple conversation with my friends across the globe who are super artsy and fun. Um, yeah, you guys, there's so many cool people in the world and I thought this would be a great a great way to have conversations um, and share with my YouTube audience, um, some of the cool people that I know, like Lucy Braden, whoop. So right. don't look at the mess in the chaos. chaos. Oh. I'm totally judging you right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know wow. you are. <laughs> You're talking about me behind my back. <laughs> you were just talking about that when you left. <laughs> Sorry, I don't not I don't not know how to not joke around with you. 
Aww. So you want to see some of the pictures in my calendar that are the prints? Yes. Because there's a mixture. Because I totally got into watercolor and gouache this year. Yes. All right. And just so you know, you have four minutes. And then you're telling me a ghost story. Four? Exactly. Four. Because I have carpool at 240. And I want to hear all your ghost stories. And okay. your story about the Game of Thrones horse lady. Just, okay. I just... We're at a limited time. We have a lot to go over. We have to start with the art. No, we have to see the art. I'm just kidding about the four. So this is one. So pretty. I know it's so pretty. Oh, that's the animal one. I need to order yeah, that. I still have some calendars in my Etsy shop if people want to buy them. And, and I'm going to put the Etsy link in the live chats because I'm just sitting here. What's your Etsy? Oh, www.etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Lucy Bright and Art. Yeah, but it might be um, for, hang on, it might be UK. Um, yeah, etsy.com forward slash UK forward slash shop forward slash Lucy Bright and Art. Okay. With the Lucy Bryden art, like each one, you know, the L, the B, and the A is um, capitals. Okay. Do you use the matter. word capitals in the United States? It doesn't matter. I think it's not case sensitive. I got you. I just put it in the chat. Yeah. So this calendar also has other animals done other ways. So, like, look at the cute little mouse. I know. Stop it. So cute. And I have a women's one as well. And this is mostly watercolor, some gouache. So show them the one. Um, show them the one with the green ghost lady in the castle that we went to last summer. This. Yeah, we oh, went. So. And for those of you who don't know, so I Lucy and I teach along with Jenny Mano at the at this retreat every year, and this. I'm obsessed with this one. So that's the castle I'm pointing to your screen. Like you can see what I'm pointing to. That's the castle that we um, visited and the tour um, that we went on. He told us the whole story behind that ghost lady is like a yeah. renowned ghost and like tons of people have seen her. I have a story about that castle though. Okay, so, great. We're all here. Yeah. So, so when, so Karen knows, but none of you guys know because I haven't chatted to you about it. But the the last few weeks and the next few weeks, I'm doing these Christmas fairs, and they're all being held in these castles throughout Aberdeenshire. And um, last weekend, one of the castles that I was in, the woman, one of the women working there, we were talking ghost stories because we were both into it, and she told me that she was working at that castle, at Crathis Castle. She was doing um, actually an evening ghost tour for Halloween. And she was on her own because we were all, I was actually on that night. I didn't know that she was the, she was also working there. I didn't know her at the time, but she was on her own at the top of the castle in this little mm -hmm. turret. Okay, um, can we just talk about this for a second? How is it? That anyone has balls big enough to be in the top of a castle alone on their own at night no way so all the lights out no way no because way because she was waiting for all of us to come on our tour up, and then as we got to her room she was going to stand in the turret and sing this like spooky song to kind of you know with a candle and trying to give us like this atmosphere and she said while she was waiting in that turret in the dark, three times she heard footsteps coming towards her. And she thought that it was somebody coming to say, oh, they're on their way or whatever. And she like would look around the turret and nobody would be there. I just can't. I can't. I would have been that. going down the stairs at that point. Oh my so God. Oh my God. I would have just had a heart attack and just died. Just like dead. 
that's crazy town. Although I believe it. Cause remember when we were filming in the, in the castle, I even have it on film when I like what my process YouTube video showing our showing our retreat and being in that, in that castle. And the guy would just be talking. And I think I was like zooming in on like the wood and my camera was like perfectly clear, perfectly focused. And then all of a sudden it would like randomly soft go out of focus and I'd be like um why is my camera doing that like stop doing that and it kept it would do that at certain parts in in Ward Hill Castle as well yes. and not I being can't wait to go back to Ward Hill and go oh, proper I... ghost hunting I, think uh, I know I know I know did I tell you I um my sister and I are going to Savannah in January. My sister and I always do really, really random girl trips, like at really weird times of the year, almost always in January and December. So we're meeting up in, in um, Savannah and it's like one of the most haunted cities in the United States. So we have to dig a little bit for our ghosts. There's not that many haunted cities, but I know like Maine is very well haunted, like Louisiana. But I know Savannah is supposed to be very well haunted. So I was making fun of my sister because I was like, we're going to stay in a haunted hotel. And she was like, she was like, I am not staying in a haunted hotel. I'm like, oh, you're staying at it. Like, and I was like, look, I was like making fun of her. I'm like, look at the picture. Like, how is this not haunted? Just like looking at the picture of this like Victorian house. And she was like, it is not, whatever. So I waited till she booked it. And then I Googled it. And the, it has its own haunting website. It's like totally haunted. And it's haunted yeah. by like little children. Cause I guess, I know. So I guess the parents like would throw these big grand parties and the children while they were like sent to their rooms to be quiet for the parties used to roll billiard balls down the stairs while their parents were having these parties. And now they say guests can hear like the balls rolling down the stairs. Like, oh. <laughs> Freaky haunty children. So I was too scared to read the whole backstory. There's like a poem that goes with it. And I don't know if the kids were like murdered or if there's like some creepy dark side, but like haunted children, crazy. All right, tell me about this last castle that you were just doing your craft fair at. And how well, did your craft fair go? Yeah, it was lots of fun. It was the, the castle that I was last at is so beautiful. And, and, and I actually, there was one woman who works there that I said something about ghosts and she kind of laughed at me and went, yeah, that, that is just stupid. Like they're not real. But I kind of believe that if you're, if you are open to it, they are. And then other people just don't see anything. Yeah. Or you don't but notice it. Or you just that one has, so that one has like a famous ghost story and it's about one of the wives of the owners called Isabel Drummond. And apparently the owner at the time was like super cruel and like shut her in a bedroom to starve to death now don't fact check me on this like if you google I might have I might have it a little bit wrong but he then apparently um got remarried and so it's her ghost that's haunting and he remarried and then in the bedroom that he used for his wedding night mm. there was scratching noises in the middle oh. of the night oh. and then in the morning there's uh um there's like the lintel stone of the window and it's like five stories up so like nobody could get to it with a ladder there's like a name carved in her name is carved in the lintel stone now oh. whether that bit's true or not but one of the guides told me that whenever she goes to that room to tell people the story, she can feel like the presence of someone standing behind her. Mm. I don't know. But yeah. the castle that I was in the weekend before um, is the one that I used to work in. It's Castle Fraser, mm -hmm. like here into Outlander, mm -hmm. castle, like Castle Fraser. Mm -hmm. And um, and it, the, the room that I was in, so I was in a room on my own for the whole weekend what? and it was I swear it was the haunted room mm. and so what, when I arrived and they told me what room I was in that's what I said I'm in the haunted room of course you are. You're in the haunted room and then um, and then one of the other people that works there when I said oh god I'm going to the haunted room she said oh this room and it was same room shut up but 
thing is that that castle doesn't have like some castles like Krathis have like a story like the Green Lady and there's like a particular yeah. room that they tell their guests but this one doesn't have a story like that mm. it, it's just that everyone that works there feels that that room is haunted and yeah. they people said that um some people said that um there are people that can't even go in that room. Like they stand at the doorway to that room and they think I can't go inside it. It was freezing oh. in that room. Everybody that came in to visit my stand went, it's so cold in here. <gasps> You're like, cause yeah. it's cause there's so many ghosts all squished yeah. in this room with me. Yeah, there's like a really weird feeling in that room. I don't know what it is, but loads of people say that that room feels weird. But other people who work at that castle, I've been talking to them. Some people said that they heard um, like children's voices on the stairs and, you know, all kinds of things. I love it. It's so exciting. I know. Of course you're going to have ghosts in like a 600 year old building. I know, I know. But I, I'm just, I feel like I've come such a long way because remember on Ivy's retreat, I don't know if you remember what a big freaking scaredy pants I was. <laughs> No, like Peggy had to walk me to my room every night. And so for like, so first when I signed up, I had a double and then my husband was like, you know, Karen, like you're really affected by snoring and like, you're a very light sleeper. So why don't you for like Christmas after I had booked her retreat, he was like, he paid for me to bump up. Cause there was like a single left. He's like, you should really have a single, like you'll sleep better. Can I just tell you every night I like was terrified. I would just be in my room like, ah! like ambient wine like just get to sleep like just get to sleep and don't kill me because in one of ivy and we're talking about ivy newport in her uh retreat in 2017 i think 17 yeah um she i guess her mom was really into like ghosts and apparitions uh -huh. and all this stuff so as part of our like actual welcome packet it was like the welcome packet was like two pages and then it was like six pages of like huntings in like edinburgh and like all these places and so i'm like leafing through them and are like apparent like couple attacked by strange form in bedroom i'm like what like what kind of ghost is like actively attacking people I'm, like i was like terrified i was like terrified oh at, like as enough as it was so i literally was i spent that whole trip terrified like just totally terrified the entire time I like should never have had a single anywhere it was terrifying so then I felt like I, I feel like I had like a breakthrough when we were in ward hell because and maybe it's just because we were surrounded by so many people but I'm like I can do this like there can be ghosts like you heard footsteps and I was like right next to you and we were right there and I was like that's okay like I feel like I feel like I'm evolving. Don't you think, I think the breakthrough I had was when I heard those footsteps, I totally thought that they were a real person coming up behind me. And when I turned around and no one was there, I was just like, oh, and it didn't feel scary anymore because, although I'm not going to lie, after that happened and I realized it must have been a ghost, there was a few days where I was like, I don't want to go through there on my own. Well, that corridor is is was always cold <clears throat> and I don't know if it was like the wind breeze because it was like a little tunnel there and that's like where the two pieces of the castle kind of fit together or what but um but then I was always jittery after that trying to just just go around that corner I mean it was weird they had the old pictures that were set up there there was like that weird door that went to who knows where like that whole corridor just became like a but when we asked when we asked um, Sarah, we asked her. So Lucy and I got, um, we went the day before the retreat started to like have a walk around the castle and she was showing us how everything worked. <clears throat> and I felt like an idiot, but I felt like I couldn't leave our introduction without asking her about the ghost situation. Cause that was right after we heard the footsteps. And I felt like a moron because she's like beautiful and like young and perfect and like sane. And I'm like, um, so about the ghosts. <laughs> like I felt like such a loser. But I had it was the way she said it was the way she said. Hmm. Yeah. And then she just paused. The first ghost. Yeah, she totally <laughs> like was like, mm. and I was like, oh, oh, that's such a yes. She's like, why do you ask? And we're like, oh my God, so busted. Um 
so yeah but the chef the chef's wife had heard voices the exact same place as well hadn't she say that the, again i was looking the chef's at wife had heard voices in the exact same place where we heard the footsteps yeah no yeah there was like corroboration of that area and when you yeah. said where it was she was like she like she was like mm, like that's not surprising yeah I think, like, it's well, kind of cool I think I'm less like yeah I think that got me over the fear uh, yeah when you're like there with 16 other women and you're not like in the upstairs hallway alone with like a mirror at the other end and like it's dark and whatever and you're freaking camera isn't going out of focus then it's fine <laughs> these these ghosts these ghosts these castles that I'm doing these um fairs in mm -hmm. are starting to advertise now they're gonna do actual like the so the ghost tours they do at Halloween are like you know seven o'clock at night and they're just going around the castle in the dark with with them um, small lights telling interesting stories but they're gonna be doing actual ghost hunting oh god parties <sighs> like late at night like at midnight with like nice. people with special equipment i really want to do one do it you have to do it and live stream it <laughs> zoom <laughs> i'd be like i bought half a bar you'd be like shh guys <laughs> Oh my God, that would put me over the edge. That would, I don't know if I could do that. This is an art channel, guys. We're not just talking, we're talking about ghosts. I know, we are totally talking about ghosts. We'll bring it back around to art. <laughs> Want to see what I just made? Yeah. Look at my, this is what I made. Oh, that is so cute. Look at my ear pen. I love you. That's so cute. Did you video it? It's for my mixed media society members. I love, love it. Things. You know, every now and again, you gotta like, you gotta hot glue something. Do you know what I mean? Definitely. Like hot glue and glitter. Face is super cute. Really, you got it. I take no credit for that. I totally <laughs> copied that from like a like a stock image. Have like a digital well, stock like, image. You want to see them? Yes. Oh, and I have yours right behind me. Oh, did you just do that today? Here. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and look, I have yours right behind me. I'm going to get it. You mean like this one? Yeah, it was right behind me. Literally right behind me. <laughs> do you sell these in your Etsy so shop as well? Oh. I haven't got them in Etsy just now because I'm what? not selling them on my fairs, but I'm going to put some on Etsy. Look, here's a little bag. It's upside down. Oh, oh my God. I, did you hear what I just said? It's upside, said down. It's upside down. <laughs> this is because I got the best amazing thing ever. Do you want to see? I'm going to like art supply geek out. Yes. That's what we're supposed to it be doing. Is oh, yeah. Oh. Gold acrylic ink. Yes, I have some of those. I was doing, um, you know what I don't normally, is that what you painted these all in ink? Yeah, acrylic ink. <gasps> That's so weird because I never, ever, ever, ever art with ink, even though I have loads of it. Mm -hmm. And I did, I don't know if you saw on Facebook, my grandmother died, my grandmother, yeah. Gigi, she's 103. So the, I don't know if you saw my unicorn, but that was all in inks and I've never, like arted with just straight um I've done some art with like water soluble ink but I don't normally art with like like acrylic oh, actually, oh, I don't think these are so in love with acrylic ink right now well, I am now because they I love that they're they're just so richly saturated you don't get that yeah. same pow that you do with just straight up paints yeah and that one thing where's my art journal it's right behind me it looks that one page looks so different than every other page in there I was going to do it in watercolor I don't know actually what made me even reach for my inks seeing that as I don't ever use them but um so, I mean the the saturation level is insane <clears throat> it like jumps off the page I'm like why don't I use this every minute of the day what inspired you to use those just because it's liquid and you can do really good detail because yeah they're so uh, liquid I can get I, I got like tiny tiny wee brushes and I can get like the you know so like I don't know if this one's completely finished but 
if you see like I can get like all the tiny little uh, lines crazy. I don't think I'd be yeah. able to do that with um regular acrylics I think they would be too gloopy yeah I think they would so be really gloopy works really well and there's gold there's gold there's oh is that what you were showing us the gold color yeah yeah no, I love that. So I well, got a little bit obsessed and started painting gold stars on everything. This one's not finished. It's going to be a little deer, but look, there's gold stars everywhere. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Those aren't just polka dots. It's hard to tell. Yeah. My face is like zoomed into the camera. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm so bored of looking at Lucy's oh my, I. That's insane. Right, there is going to be a little deer here. There, yeah. So is that what you do? Do you normally like like keep a space out for the main subject and put them in last? Or do you it just depends? Like, yeah, just depends. How did you go around him like that? Like, how did you know where he was going to go? Did you pencil I him? I drew in? him, Karen. I drew <laughs> him in a white pencil. <laughs> like magic. You should have been like, I oh. just... Edges with my paintbrush. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> and like professional artists do. <laughs> they know and feel their subjects. <laughs> You'll know when you're at that stage. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I didn't see the pencil. I just saw your oodles of stars. <laughs> I just oh, didn't want to wait. Like the, so the deer, the little fawn is going to be like browns and white. And so yeah. I wasn't going to paint blue there because it would, acrylic inkers, they're super expensive. Yeah. So if I painted the whole thing blue, it would just waste the blue because I need to put brown on top, which is why That's I true. drew him in pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Your magic artist hurts. Okay. <laughs> Our podcast where we just take the piss out of each other. <laughs> I know. I think that's actually what we're going to start doing because this is way more fun than just me being like a technical <laughs> asshole, which is what I normally, normally am. Ooh, somebody lived in a haunted village. <gasps> that's a Old village. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Charleston. Julie Mo Charleston does have ghost tours. There's Charleston. That. Where's Charleston? It's in South Carolina. It's one state south of me but yes I forgot about that I feel like Charleston and Savannah are, have a lot of similarities because there are a lot of dodgy stuff happened with the world and with the war and everything um <gasps> Kim says I have a ghost that hides thing oh a ghost that hides things from me for like 10 minutes then it will be in the first place I look does it all the time freaks my daughter-in-law out she won't stay here alone oh really Ooh. that's very oh Ooh, there's all sorts of fun, scary stories coming in from the live chat. Maxine says, both my mom and brother were in the same hospital the night my mom passed. My brother was four floors above the room my mom was in when she passed and, and was unaware my mom was gone. Wait, I'm, I think I read that weird. I'm missing did, like punctuation. She, maybe they saw the mom? No, we're in the same hospital. Because I saw my dog when my dog died. Oh, you did? Dog, yeah. Yeah, this is years and years ago. I saw my dog like come in to, I was living in a in a bus at the time and the dog came in and climbed up <laughs> and imagine if people are going to think I'm weird now. Okay, there's so many things wrong with this starting from I was living in a bus at this time. We're just going to let that go for now. We'll revisit that later. <laughs> it climbed up an imaginary, like, like almost like an imaginary staircase and like, disappeared through the ceiling and then we found um her dead the next day are you serious yeah she'd gone missing like we couldn't find her she'd gone missing which I guess like some animals do that when they're see so seriously ill that they like go off to die yeah. and so we'd spent ages looking for her and then eventually gone to bed because we couldn't find her and then I kind of had this like weird lucid dream type thing where I woke up and I saw the dog like climbing through mm -hmm. the ceiling and like disappearing off up and then we find her dead the next day. Oh, that's the scariest thing I've ever and heard. You hear stories of other people saying that they see somebody or they go passed away like 
appear in front of them like before they hear the news that they passed right. away maybe that's what that person is um meaning if they were in the same hospital or my gosh i don't know i don't have any good stories to like go back with that i have a million i know so After like we'll just our get, get. yeah this is episode <laughs> one yeah and everyone can think that i'm like off my daughter <laughs> or something like, yeah, but it's good i got nothing I have carpool and three kids. Ooh, you you stayed in that hotel, remember? But what? A haunted like Airbnb or something? Oh, the one where the door was open and the with what? Oh, you mean coming up? Is that what you're talking about? You're no. Didn't you stay in some place before that was haunted? No. <laughs> <laughs> That was your other cooler friend who has <laughs> better stories than me because I am nothing. No, I'm sure you told me a story. I would have definitely remember had I stayed in a haunted B&B. Did I forget or I have to rack my you brain? Somebody else then. No, I'm distracted because I have to go pick up my oh, no. these stupid children. But I mean, just children. Oh, see, and you're, so people want you to do a class on your ornaments. I told you. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna okay. after Christmas. I'll do a class on it. Yeah. Okay. I've got a long list. Class yeah. on the ornaments, watercolor women, and gouache painting. Yeah. Yes. And more episodes. I eventually. I'm not as fast as Karen. Very fast. Editing videos. Well, that's because I have kids that I have to go pick up. So I'm like, always like, go, 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 go. Fun time <laughs> is over, which actually I really do have to go. We're going to have to scoot this back to 1.30 so I'm not always racing after here. No, and we never got right into the Game of Thrones channel. No, we didn't get Oh, that will be stay tuned. So next week, on next week's episode of Fun Scottish Podcast with Lucy, she's going to be telling us about this girl who worked on the craft fair with her last weekend who worked with the horses for the, on the Game of Thrones set for five years. Right? Is that right? Oh, five seasons i'm so That's jealous not. yeah i'm I so bought, just before you go i bought a bracelet of her mm. oh yeah what did that say it says mother of dragons oh yeah i have a mother of dragons t-shirt i'm gonna wear it next week we, we can both be mother next dragons. we can we can yes tell our stories that yeah. aren't my stories or other people's stories oh i know we should have people to submit their stories <laughs> zoom call with everyone now that i bought all the things <laughs> my god what am i doing all right well i have to run but thank you so much for like just reconnecting with me in front I of others so i miss you so much too and that book i'm reading is not helping it just makes me sadder where is peter head from aberdeen i'm reading a book on scotland north. that takes place in scotland north. it's north right i figured i was too lazy to google it but i'm like it must because it says it's in aberdeen shire is it yeah, aberdeen shire yeah <laughs> that's like the big part right and then like yeah, the castle is in there and all your little villages yeah we'll have to tell the story of the the village and how we found the the little airbnb cottage <clears throat> next time with the cab yeah. driver who i only understood like i think he was speaking doric is that the little is that their little scottish language yeah doric's like the regional kind yeah. of accent of this area which has yeah. different words to I know, you know I only understood like eight percent of what he said like if you wanted funny. to ask some you know how in America everyone's like what's up when you want to know how somebody is yeah like when you don't actually really like you you wouldn't say well my cat died and I you know you would just say fine yeah um in um in this area we say fit like Bit like and then in reply you would say fine who's yourself which means <laughs> fine and how is yourself wait fit like fit like that like. no it sounds like, like a horse like a clumsy slow hippopotamus cup fit like is that right lucy <laughs> how do you see it back you could either say fine foods yourself which means like fine how is yourself like how how are you doing or you can even ask someone who's your dues <laughs> which means, 
Uh, hey. Do's or do's. Who's your do's? Do you know what that means? No, clearly. <laughs> How are your doves? And then in reply, you would say, I peck in, which means like they're still. <laughs> they're still pecking. All right, I'm going to remember that. I have to write this shit down. This is, the <laughs> I've never heard this before. This is amazing. I, that makes sense because I didn't understand anything that guy said, except that he did stop to ask some guy, directions and the guy was like Rrr. and he was like blah, 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 twat, blah, blah, and like kept rolling and we were all like oh okay like that's not a word that like gets thrown around the English language in America very much but I definitely understood what you just said <laughs> so, well, I have to go back on YouTube and like push the button that says this video was not for children for COPA yeah. all the COPA regulations I didn't but... swear though I did not swear I did three times. Look at my, look what they did to my glasses. I got new glasses and they like, they're like tinted orange. I'm like, yeah, what yeah. did you do to my glasses? Like, oh my so God, I have to go. I have to go get my children with instruments. They're so ugly now. They're permanently, it's to protect me from the UV screen rays and to make cool. me look, they're not cool in any way. They're like orange. Oh my God. <clears throat> All right. Oh, look, Li Melissa Lappin still has, she said her husband's family is from Everdeen and they still run a fish shop there. Really? Which one? Melissa Lappin. Oh Which my one? The Ashvale? That's the best one. I don't know. I have to go. I have to pick up my child in three minutes and I'm 10 minutes away. All right. I'll see you later. I love you. Okay. I love I'm you. YouTube. I don't even know how to stop this from going. I don't even know what to push. Well, you have to, because otherwise I'll be sitting here like an idiot. <laughs> All right. End meeting, but I don't know how to stop the live stream. End meeting for 